The Japanese have a famous saying that the best and safest place to hide is directly underneath the light. To me, that means that people who are looking for things miss the most obvious places to look. Have you ever lost something, a car key perhaps or something, and you look for it everywhere and then you realize that it's sitting in a, in a table right in front of you or, or something else that you've lost? It's true. We, uh, we forget to look. We miss the, uh, the obvious place that a thing is that we're looking for. Uh, hence the age-old saying, you know, I've been looking for fill in the blank all over the world when it was in front of my eyes all the time. The reason I'm mentioning that is because us many men forget the fact that for a woman these days, as well as from the cave days, and as well as for eternity into the future, for women, a man is all about security and power that he has. And in the modern day and time, what is power? Money. It's not uh, the length of your sword or, or how good you can fight or how strong your muscles are and everything. No, no, it's, uh, it's money. Nothing else matters to them. If you don't have that, nothing else really matters to them in terms of choosing you as their uh, mate. And if you, if you have that and you have pretty much nothing else, you will see women that, that stay with men for decades just because of that. Now in the West, of course, because of the divorce laws, they don't have to stay with him to have his money. So that's why you see that, uh, you know, they leave them. But if they were in, in other countries where the moment you left, the money would also stop, where like it's, you know, as it is, as it is in nature, as it is the way, you know, it should be, then they stay with them for as long as, you know, for as long as uh, they need the money, which is uh, forever. Now, in today's world, in the Western world, you see these women that have uh, already their jobs, they already have their career, they're very well paid, they're actually given jobs because they're women, because a lot of companies are trying to, to uh, look like they're, uh, you know, giving women equal opportunity. So, as with uh, reverse racism, they are hiring people uh, just to fill the quota. You know, uh, there's a term that's going around these days, which is extremely appropriate and accurate. And that term is diversity hire. Many companies are hiring uh, people of uh, other races, whether or not they're qualified for the job. You know, the most qualified person for the job might be a person of a certain race, black, white, Chinese, Asian, whatever, yellow, Middle Eastern, whatever you want to call it. They're not paying attention to that. Now they're hiring strictly based on, on race and we see the results. We all pay for it. We all pay for it. Now, back to the main reason why I make this video and I always have a strong, solid point when I make a video is that us men have been, have been told, have been fooled, have been tricked into believing that now that these women have, uh, you know, a job and, and a career and they have money and they have their own home and their car and whatever, they don't, they don't really care how, uh, how much money a man has. They care about other things. I say to that, bull crap. To uh, steal a, a, a phrase from uh, the late Marlon Brando, that is a steaming pile of horse manure. That is 100% malarkey and bullshit and don't ever believe that. No matter how much money a woman has, no matter how successful she is, no matter how many mansions she owns, she wants a man who is uh, equal to her or even with more money. Because a man that has no money has no power. And that is a biggest turnoff to a woman. A man is who is mousy and a pushover and needy. No woman wants a man who's got his hand out, you know, for the, for the next meal or, or, or for his uh, support, for his own support from her. No. So my point is, don't let the BS, don't let the media, and don't let these so-called 
whoever misleads you, the so-called dating coaches, dating experts, whatever, anyone that tells you this, that, or women, women, more than anyone else, women, they say, oh, I've got my own thing, I've got my own house, I don't need your money, bull, I mean, there is not a bigger lie that they could tell you that these women could tell you then oh i have my own house and i have my own thing i don't need your money it is exactly the opposite of truth it is day and night if i could use a more a more powerful uh, example i would but don't fall for that for one second this is an absolute important thing that many men miss and overlook because it's hiding directly under the light Next time you hear a woman say, oh, I've got my own money, I've got my own SHIT, whatever, I've got my own act together, I don't need you, BS. Oh, really? Well, tell them, well, I don't have a job and uh, I need a place to stay and, uh, you know, I need someone to support me. So if you have your own money in your own house, in your car, I, you know, well, just take me, here I am. They'll show you the door so fast, you don't know what hit you. It's same as the cave days and it is same now and it is same how uh, how it will be into the eternity. Women want men with money. Even if they're a billionaire, they want someone who has two billion. Never forget this. Look exactly under the light first. All the best.